What's up YouTube? Today we're talking about no numb lip blush. I know you're probably thinking like, how, how could you possibly get through a lip blush procedure with no anesthetic, no numbing? I'm telling you it's possible. Not only is it possible, it's incredible. This is a technique that I started doing probably about five years ago and it changed everything for me. I know you've got a ton of questions. You're probably thinking like, how could your clients get through that type of an appointment with no discomfort without anesthetic? It's mind blowing and you have to see it to believe it. But without using anesthetic, your depth, your pressure, everything shifts within the technique. So you actually implant ink way easier. When you're working lighter on your clients, they're not in pain. They're not in discomfort. So I'm sure you've experienced this, you know, as you use anesthetic, primary numbing, um, sometimes even secondary numbing, it changes the texture of the skin that you're working on. And that's the same with lips. The same thing happens. So it almost gets a little bit rubbery. You find that the needle is not going to implant the ink as easy. You kind of fight with the skin to get the ink in. So what happens when we are using numbing is that we are working harder. When we're working harder, we're actually creating more trauma to the area. And when you're creating more trauma, you're seeing your clients swell up a lot more. You're seeing bruising. Sometimes it can look uneven. There's nothing worse than finishing lip blush. You go to take your after photos and one side of the lip is way more swollen than the other. It makes you look like a bad artist. So how are you supposed to sell this procedure and post you know, beautiful reels and photos on Instagram when the results, the immediate after results look hideous? Mind you, a couple hours later, swelling has gone down, it looks really good, but it's misleading and then we don't take pictures and then we can't sell the service. So no numb lip blush is going to fix those problems for you. You're minimizing the swelling, you're getting way more even implantation of pigment. Results just look better and they heal better. Now there is an art to it. I'm not saying just go ham on your client's lips with no numbing. It's not gonna go very well. You need to know how to do this properly and technique plays a huge role. So the needles that we use, the pressure that we use, the shading techniques that we use all affect the outcome. Okay, I know I'm just talking and I'm telling you guys to believe me, but I'm gonna show you a couple of examples here. So here you can see, this is like standard lip blush that I've done on my client. This is with numbing, the old school way that I did it for many, many years. Now over here, you're looking at results after not using any numbing. So this is the no numb lip blush technique over here. I mean, that's a huge difference. So I wanna help you guys get these types of results with your lip blush clients. If you're still here, it means you're interested, you're intrigued. So I've got a little special offer for my YouTube subscribers because I love you guys so much. I do have a full online course on this technique. And I dive deep and there's demonstrations. Everything you need is inside that course. And it does come with the certificate too. If you guys use the code YouTube20 at checkout, it's gonna save you 20% on this course. Just so you know, our online courses, we've got like over 50 of them. They're very reasonably priced. I think that it's very important that you guys get education at an affordable price. That is why I created Shea Danielle Academy Online. So go check it out, save 20%, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.